it's another freezing but wonderful food day in my hometown Tianjin, China. The lowest temperature today is 9 degrees, like what? Anyways, we had some errands this morning and then afterwards we had some breakfast at Starbucks. We got some winter specials. This is a pistachio Swiss roll, which is really good. And then we also got an apple latte with Fuji apples. Over here, this is the flat white, super strong, just what I needed. After breakfast, we have to walk home. At this point, it's 12 degrees, so cold and so windy. The wind is so strong, I got blown into a Paris baguette. Like really, it's not me, it's the wind that took me here. But since I'm already here, everything looks so good. So I picked up two things I haven't tried and two favorites. And good secured and we're out in the cold again. The walk is really not long, like 10-15 minutes, but it's so freezing, my face got super red. So before I dig into my pastries, I'd read some comics and tried to really warm up. Okay, pastries from Paris baguette, this is the Cafe Ole bun. This is espresso bread with coffee, milk cream, and a thin layer of custard on the inside. The bread has a crispy shell and soft on the inside with the cream, oof, so good. Next up for savory, we have the exo sauce chicken donut. It's savory with a little sweet from the exo sauce, really good. And along with that, we also had some green tea and that was a light lunch. It's a free afternoon, so I went to the gym. And after gym, I stopped by the local Korean market. You can get groceries and household items, but I'm here for the snacks. They have Korean sun chips and tiramisu Oreo that's so much cheaper than the one I got yesterday. They also have kimbabs and rice cakes at the register and good secure. This is my little snack haul for today. The total is $8.60. So an hour ago, we ordered some boba and it is delivered. Delivery doesn't take long, but this place is so popular. There are like hundreds of cups in front of me. Two drinks packaging and delivery cost $6. We got two different drinks, Gui Fu Lan Xiang, which I've had before. And the new one is Boya Jue Xian, which is a tea latte that's jasmine green tea based. It's light with a perfect amount of fragrance, so good. Both drinks are phenomenal, I'm happy. And along with my milk tea, I also had a Ube Taro double stuffed bun. It is absolutely delicious. This is my second time getting it. And even though it's freezing outside, I still went out because I'm on a mission. This is Bao's Pastry. It's a traditional style Chinese bakery. After a first failed attempt on the Taro Soul Puff, this is my second visit. I really want it, but guess what? I miss it again. So I stopped by 7-Eleven and I picked up a super long gummy and some Oden. So dinner is Oden and the seafood gravy rice dish with purple rice. Purple rice because we're also having kimbabs. Okay, seriously, this is the best kimbab I've ever had in my entire life. First of all, look at the amount of filling. Stuff to the freaking brim, absolutely love. Everything is so flavorful, so well seasoned. The protein to vegetable ratio is perfect. Every bite is balanced and so delicious. After a wonderful dinner, we're trying some Korean sun chips. This is the garlic baguette flavor, which is a little bit sweet for my liking, not my favorite, but this hot spicy one, ooh. So it's got a little tomato flavor and a tiny bit spicy. I would prefer more spicy, but still really good. Oh, and I ate this super long gummy a few days later. It was a super delicious and wonderful day. Please follow for more adventures. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.